Hey everybody, Andrew Poncho here, and we are back playing Star Fox Adventures. And I think if we go back into the center one, yeah, yeah, puts us a lot higher. So I'm just gonna go up. Let's just go up high. Let's see if we can find this place where we can put this one up on the top floor. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Why not? I mean, hell, odds are it's, it's up here. Or I mean, as good a chance of being up here as anywhere else. I guess that fan's going the wrong way since it's not blowing us up. It's only sucking air in, into the ground. Get out of here, dude. You're not a required fight. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm playing Pokemon again, talking about required fights and stuff. Anyway, let's go up here. Whee! Oh, wow, that was a really tall, like, tube. Ooh, check this out. Hey, look at it! It's crystal inside a crystal! Wow! She's beautiful! <laughs> oh my god! Furries! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? Peppy here! What are you doing, Fox? Release the spirit and kill <laughs> out! Okay, okay, oh jeez. Alright, obligatory. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's crystal. Dude, she's like unconscious with her mouth open. That's not good. She's gonna wake up with like a bird nest in there or something. Yeah. Alright, so we run over here just like it showed us. If you didn't notice, there's like a huge Krizoa statue over there, which is... I don't know if you guys think this, but I find those things really creepy. Like the big tall one that was talking to us, it just sounded like he was lying to us the whole time. Like this tone of voice was just like he was de just being deceptive, you know? He came. Alright, awesome. Whoop! And the Krizoa spirit spawns from the floor fan thing. Okay, cool. So now there's... Why is there only one going around? Okay. Oh, this is so cool! And we get another have another acid trip. This fox gets sucked back in the Krizoa statue's mouth. Which I guess is like... I don't know, the warp zone brings him back. Except now we're in the other hand. That's just weird. Alright, game. Okay, big fella. Good to see you doing your job and helping out. You cheeky little boy. <laughs> now... I've been keeping this back for you. Ready for when you needed it. Screw you, man! You could have given that to us so much sooner. Oh my god. It's the medium scarab bag. It holds 100 scarabs. I hate you. Yeah, check out the map. Planet. Great. Awesome. Shut up, Tricky. Anyway, as I was saying, or trying to say right before the warp zone was talking, I was going to say, Alright, game, it's time for you to give us direction now. We've, we've like, completed the little... Krizoa spirit thing. And of course it says, time for you to head down to the seaside. Oh, okay, great, let's do that. But honestly, I've been recording for way too long, and it's time for me to take a break. So I'm going to have to, like, stop and come back. So there's going to be an awkward cut. Or maybe an unawkward cut. I don't know. Also, I'm probably going to refill on scarabs before we start going around again, just in case I need them for anything. <sighs> See you guys in soon. Or like, five seconds from now, basically, like now. Hey, everybody. Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Star Fox Adventures. Twenty scarabs, and I'll give you a cheap token. We're just gonna go ahead and take that deal <coughs> because uh, they're cheap enough that it doesn't really matter that they do nothing. We'll just buy them anyway. Yeah, new item. You got a cheat token. Awesome. He does look happy. This is uh, I'm actually. Sitting next to Soraka-chan here, who's going to be doing some guest commentating in a few videos, so you guys will get to meet her, as I promised a few videos ago. Ah, where'd he go? Yeah, she says she's going to steal me away from you guys for a couple videos, which I'm sure you don't mind. 
So, uh, anyway, we gotta pick up those scarabs from down there. And now we're gonna head out into Thorntail Hollow, because there are lots of fuel cells here that we've missed. Or, either missed or just, like, never really got around to picking up. I wouldn't say I really looked for them and missed them. The first one is actually right here when you come out of the store. Turn around and on your left there, there'll be Rocket Boost Pad. And we can use a bomb spore up here to open up a crack on the wall and go pick up some crap. Now this is actually pretty cool. We could have picked this up a little bit earlier, which I kind of wish we had, actually. But there's some money. You can see the staff turning green. It means there's a hole nearby. And I get the feeling that these switches might be related to that. Oh, come on, I hit that, man. Don't pull that crap on me. It's got such a weird control scheme where when you it wants to look in the middle of the screen and you have to hold the control stick to one side in order to look to the side and you just push it way over in order to like turn around. It's kind of strange. It's a lot how, a lot, a lot uh, that's how a lot of the N64 games were actually. It's kind of weird. This is the staff energy meter. Yeah, we got another one. Awesome. That's three out of four as far as our energy meter goes, so it's getting on up near the maximum. <coughs> yeah, please excuse my coughing, because I am feeling like garbage today. It's amazing. I'm sure you guys can tell the how different I sound from the beginning of this video to the end of it. And the reason is entirely because I am sick. And it's not fun. And this little bird guy, the cloud runner here, I didn't know he was here until I, my practice area and I practice run, and I was just like, oh, I don't know what he's doing there. I'm not exactly sure why he's there at all. I still don't know. Anyway, there's another bomb spore patch here in the water, which, I mean, you might not think that you'd be able to get a bomb spore to go off down here, but you can. Yep, as long as you can hit it. Yeah, Fox is that awesome. He can make stuff explode even when it's in water. Which, I mean, doesn't stop the thermite, so... Wow, it's soft bombs for us. Anyway, so there's 22, if we can run into it there. Sometimes the way that this game controls, it's hard to make sharp turns and correct yourself like that. <laughs> Soraka Chan comments that the uh, old Resident Evil games had the same issue. Yeah, so apparently it was even worse. Alright, so we're headed to one last bomb spore patch now. It's actually up here near the warp stone. And if you open up your uh, fuel cell compass, it'll point you right towards the, wherever they're hiding around Thorntail Hollow. And I think the majority of these we actually could have picked up a long time ago, but we don't actually need them. So, there's no real rush to get them that they're at the beginning of the game. In fact, we might be flying anywhere for a little while, so we don't even really need them now. Anyway... That's all for Thorntail Hollow right now, as far as I can remember. I'm gonna pick up these guys, if you can get full uh, shrooms for Tricky. He always appreciates it when we give him some shrooms. Aw, oh, seriously man, you're not gonna give me the money? What's going on? Where's my money, man? I mean, I got these before the video, but yeah, I say I, I went back into the store, so they should have respawned. Yeah, you're gonna need some uh, scarabs before we head to the next area, so... If you don't have 60 scarabs, pick up 60 scarabs before you head over this way because you're going to need it exactly that or more. And we get over here, there's another spot where Tricky can do his magic digging ability to make Bottom Dads appear out of thin air. Boing! We'll pick that up. And that brings us, what does that bring us up to? A total of 8? Wow, I got those fast. I totally lost count. Alright, well, we are bumping up on the time limit. I know that this is going to be a little bit of a short video, but we're about to get into some, uh, stuff. So, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures.